Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to customize your uh, charging battery icon. And it's pretty easy, um, well, to do a simple one, just not really creating a whole new one, but just customizing the one that's already there. So first thing, well, I guess the first thing would be create a folder. Um, where you're going to put your battery theme. Um, I just named mine battery theme dot theme. And inside that you will have a bundles folder. And inside that you're going to have another folder uh, that's com dot apple dot springboard. And that's where you're going to put your battery icons. So you come in SSH into your phone. Um, you can use whatever you want. I like to use iFunbox. Uh, you go into System, Library, Core Services, and Springboard. And here you're going to find all the battery icons. So just highlight all of them. Copy to PC, find your folder, and put it inside the com.apple.springboard. Okay, so now you can see all the ones that you're going to need to create. And if you notice that there's the battery BG1 and then there's battery BG1 at 2x. So this one is for um, 3G or 3GS and this one is for your iPhone 4. So I like to create the one for iPhone 4 and then we can just um, make another one smaller for that one but I'll show you that in a bit. So what I do is I drag this into Photoshop and if you notice it's transparent. So that makes it really easy. So I'll just use the example of the battery icon I made for mine, my Doctor Who theme. What I did was just grab uh, some of this uh, outer space okay so I rotated it just to make the space a little bigger so what we can do here is we're just going to crop an area the size of this. So let's just use this as a guide. So we got that. See how high we need it. And I guess it's better to make it a little bigger just in case we mess up, it's easier to crop it. Okay. So let's look at it. Okay, so that's good enough. So right off the bat we have the first one so all we have to do save as and we're going to save it to the full battery which will be number 17. 
So you save that. And you go back here and you have your first one. So you just keep doing that um, for all of them. And here's the trick. I'll show you with one of these since you'll just go one by one let's just say we're on number seven so you grab number seven you line it up to here crop and you're just going to crop it to where it is You don't need that anymore. Delete that layer. Drag this layer in. Make sure you have the layer underneath the battery. And then you just save as. and save it as the one that you were working on, which was number seven. So that's basically all you have to do for all of them. It's really easy, it's just pretty tedious to have to go through and do every single one, just um, opening it and cropping it to the right size. But once you've got all your two times ones made, then you can go in and make your regular ones for the 3G, 3GS. So all you have to do is look at the size, what the image size is. So 264, 129 come over here 264 129 and then close this one you do save as and you're gonna save it as the regular one and so you just do that for all of them. Um, same as this one. You've got your big one, your little one. Except you already know the size. So once you know the size, you don't need to open the other one. So you just go in image size 264. Save as. Make sure you save it as the right one. Seven. And there you have it. So, as you can see, pretty simple. You just have to be sure to go in and change all of them. And that's about it and then once you have those done all of them done um, you're going to put it in bar stash themes so you're just going to grab the folder and you're going to drop it in themes And then, and once you've uh, dropped it into the themes folder, you just respring your phone and you can activate it through your Winterborn. So as you can see, really simple, just takes a little bit of time, but, but it looks cool once you get it, so hope that was helpful. Bye!